Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are starting on page 98, chapter 7, Compound Direct Objects, Lessons to Learn, Lesson C. So let's go ahead and start down here on page 198 on number 1, right? So here you can see construct sentences with compound direct objects by adding another direct object and conjunction to each of the following sentences. So here's an example. In the room, he opened, and what did he open? The closet and dresser drawers, right? <clears throat> so here's the two things that were opened. So for example, here on this one, Winston took from the shelf the tennis racket. What else could he take? Well, we're going to use the conjunction and. And what would you take with a tennis racket? And tennis balls. Next, <clears throat> he swatted the pillow, and what else? So we're going to use the conjunction, and, and stuffed animals. <clears throat> Don't need an end mark because they have one right there. Then he hit the old socks. So imagine he's got his racket. He hits the pillows and the stuffed animals. He hits the old socks and slippers. Right, so I'm adding a conjunction and then something else to receive the action of the verb, right? So if you come over to page 199, you have a sentence for you to do. <clears throat> Did Winston just invent pillow tennis and, <clears throat> and what else? What else could he invented, right? So you're going to come up with something else that he invented, imagining him with a racket hitting different stuff, okay? All right, now let's go to analyze it. <clears throat> so here, these... As I ask those guiding questions, try to answer it before me, try to identify the things before I do, okay? So it says, under the bridge, the fisherman caught trout and walleye. So what is the action here? The action is caught. So that's my predicate verb. Who did the action of catching? The fisherman. He's my, that's my subject. Now, in our sentence, do we have something getting caught? Yeah. Trout and walleye, two different kinds of fish. Okay. Now, if I had two direct objects, that means I need to have a what? I need to have a conjunction somewhere, <clears throat> and I have the word and here. So, greater than sign, less than sign. <clears throat> do I have a preposition? I do. Under. Under what? Under bridge, object of the preposition. What is the doing? Yep, it's an article adjective. A, D, J, modifying bridge. Now, what is it telling us? What is under the bridge telling us? It's telling us where the caught happened, where the catching of fish happened, right? And what kind of word tells us where? An adverb. So that makes this an adverbial, A, D, V, prepositional phrase, P, R, E, P. And we have the word the. What is the? That's an article adjective telling us which one. A, D, J. All right, next. <clears throat> On the shore, the, uh, the other fisherman built a fire pit and a small fire. Okay, so what's the action in this sentence? What's being done? Built. Pretty good verb. Who did the building? Fisherman. Subject. Do we know what was built? We do. What was built? Now be careful not to think that it's fire here, but pit is the direct object. <clears throat> then a pit, and then after building the pit, 
multiplier. So two direct objects. If I have two direct objects, that means I have to have a what? There's a conjunction somewhere. And there it is, and. So greater than sign, less than sign. All right. <clears throat> do I have a preposition? I do. What's the preposition? On. On what? On the? No. On shore? Yes. Object of the preposition. First noun or pronoun that follows it. Here we have an article adjective, so let's go do that. A, D, J. Now, what is this telling us? It's telling us where the building took place. What kind of word tells us where? Adverbs. Adverbs modify verbs. Adverbial, A, D, V, prepositional phrase, P, R, E, P. <clears throat> now we have A, small fire. What is A and small doing? Yeah, they're modifying fire. So we have A, which is an article adjective, A, D, J, and small tells us what kind, A, D, J. Then we have A, fire, pit. What is that? Fire could be a noun, but what is it doing here? Yeah, it's describing the pit. It's telling us what kind of pit. So here again, we have <clears throat> A as an article adjective, A, D, J, and then fire is telling us what kind, and so I'll squeeze in there, A, D, J. Now, we have other, the other fisherman. What is the as an article adjective, right? So we know what that's doing. A, D, J. What about other? Yeah, it's telling us which fisherman, right? Not the fisherman who caught the fish, but the other fisherman is the one who built it. So it's telling us which one. So A, D, J. All right, very good. Okay, so let's turn over to page 200. On this sentence, I want you to go ahead and do this sentence on your own. And then when you're ready, come back and we'll review it together. Go ahead and pause the video now. All right, so let's look at it now. It says, on Saturday, the family carried the brownies and cookies to the school fair. Right? Pretty long sentence there. What is the action of the sentence? The action of the sentence is carried, a predicate verb. Who did the carrying? The family. Now, do we know what received the action of the verb? Do we know what was carried? Yeah, brownies were carried. Direct object, and cookies were carried. Direct object. Two direct objects, I need a conjunction, right? And that there it is, the word and. So my greater than sign and my less than sign. Do I have a preposition? I do, I have two of them. On is a preposition, and to is a preposition. Let's do it with the one at the end of the sentence first. To what? To school? Could be, right? A lot of times school will be a noun, but here school is modifying fair. It's telling us what kind of fair. So that's the object of the preposition. And so the and school are adjectives. The is an article adjective, ADJ. School is an adjective telling us which one, right? Which fair? The school fair. ADJ. Now this is telling us what? They're telling us where they were carried to, right? So therefore, it's acting like an adverb. So here we go. So adverbial, ADV, prepositional phrase, P-R-E-P. -E now, let's do this prepositional phrase, on, on what? On Saturday. Saturday's the first noun or pronoun that follows it, so there's our object preposition. What is on Saturday telling us? It's telling us when. Well, what kind of word tells us when? An adverb. An adverb tells us when they were carrying it. A, D, V, P, R, E, P, adverbial prepositional phrase. <clears throat> Here we have the, that's just an article adjective that modifies the next noun, okay? So A, D, J, same thing here, the modifies the next noun, A, D, J. All right, very good, okay. <clears throat> Next, we have Winston threw the spongy ball at the soft uh, at the softball uh, and sorry and the softball at the target. 
All right, so this sentence, go ahead and do independently on your own. And then when you're ready, come back and we'll review it together. Go ahead and pause the video now. All right, so let's look at it together. What's the action? Through is the action, right? Ready, good verb. Who did the throwing? Winston, that's my subject. Do we know what received the action of the verb? What was thrown? Yeah, ball was thrown, direct object, and softball. So this is a specific kind of ball. Direct object, right? Now, do, oh, we know there's a two of them, there's a conjunction, so let's go ahead and mark that. Greater than sign, less than sign, all right? Okay, do we have a preposition? We do have a preposition. What's a preposition? At. At what? At target. Object prepositions. First noun or pronoun follows it. The is an article adjective. A, D, J. Okay. <clears throat> uh, now what is it telling us? It's telling us where the throwing happened, right? Where did they get thrown at? At the target. So it's telling us where something, what kind of word tells us where? An adverb. So this is an adverbial, ADV, prepositional phrase, P-R-E-P. -E What's the? An article adjective modifies the next noun. A, D, J. Now, the spongy, what is that telling us? Yeah, it's telling us what kind of ball, right? So the is an article adjective, modifies the next noun, which is ball, A, D, J. And spongy tells us what kind of ball. A, D, J. All right. Letters C and D, you'll do independently for your independent practice. Now, let's go down here. We're identifying whether these are proper or common. So, hands. What do you think? Hands, a proper noun or a general noun? Yeah, it's just going to be general, right? So, it's common. What about Coach Stevens? Yeah, Coach Stevens is a particular coach, right? Not just any coach, but a particular coach. So that is going to be proper. All right. And then the last three, Big Dipper, Daffodils, and on the next page, <clears throat> Wave and Cloud. So actually four of them, Wave and Cloud. You'll identify whether those are proper or common. And then number three, you'll construct a sentence using these words, work, make, hands, light, many, and the. So put those in the order to make a sentence that makes complete thought. All right, that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you have a terrific day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.